Hi guys, welcome to Digit.in. My name is Shri Pacheco and today we'll be looking at the Fossil Hybrid Smartwatch HR Collider Smoke Stainless Steel. So one notable feature of the device is of course the e-ink display but how you use it isn't quite well done right now. I think they're still in the process of uh, finalizing how to control the UI because there's no touch screen here and so you'll be dependent on these little buttons right here. These three buttons are the only way to uh, communicate with the watch and go through all the features. And the top one, it's pretty straightforward when you think about it. The top one goes for scrolling up, the bottom one is for scrolling down, and the middle one is for selecting something, going back, cancelling something, and going back to the home screen. So if you think that's a lot of work for one single button, you are right. As such, the UI is a little clunky, but on the plus side, uh, you are getting a very good battery life here as well. So, mm, you know, you win some, you lose some. But if you're looking, see, another problem here you're seeing with an e-ink display is not as spry as an LCD or an AMOLED display. What I mean when I say that is that uh, things don't refresh as quickly. So as such, you'll see a little bit of lag when you're using the uh, Fossil Collider. For example, let's give an example. I choose the middle button, it shows me my notifications. You see there was a little lag there. Suppose I want to go to another notification, I press the down button. Now it's clear and I'll go home. So I go back up. I go back up. Now, now it's on the home button. I press this button to go back home. Yeah, so it's not the most intuitive way to scroll through a smartwatch, but it's what you have. Hopefully Fossil will come up with something better. Uh, maybe a little a little bit more pizzazz, I guess. However, you're still getting a lot, considering the fact that this is a hybrid device. Not only can you choose multiple watch faces, you can also choose your own. You can take a photograph and you can add your own face to the watch face, if you want. Um, you're also getting a number of dials that you can change based on how you like the device. For example, once you pair it with the Fossil app, you'll see what I'm talking about. So this is the Fossil app. As you can see, it's pretty straightforward. It tends to spin around like that every now and then. And you're gonna see your steps that you've taken all through your history. Customization is where you see the different faces of the Fossil Collider. So you're seeing, this is your daily app. You can change the widget and experience. Do you like your access no, Later, <sighs> later. Don't you hate it when that happens? Okay, so you have your daily screen where you can see your fitness levels, you can see your notifications, but you can also see fitness. So if you want use, if you plan to use this for fitness or you're going to the gym, you can switch to this version and the watch face will change to this. As you can see, this also changes the widgets. This one right now will be switched to the temperature, sorry, the ambient weather, steps you've taken, your run, all of that. This is for travel, so if you're traveling, you can know you can have a calendar up, you can see another time, stuff like that. And of course, if you want, you can create your own preset as well. So there's a lot of customizability that goes into this watch, which is commendable right there. And as I mentioned before, you can also change the watch face. You can take any photograph, it changes this to, a, it makes it compatible with e-ink displays, which is pretty cool. Like for example, I have a nice little classic uh, game as my watch face, which is pretty neat as well. You can also set up alerts, you can set up your profile, everything as you would normally use on a fitness tracker or a smartwatch. The biggest problem here is of course, as I mentioned before, the UI isn't as fluid as it could be. But if you can go beyond that, if you can go beyond the slow e-ink display and all that, this is a pretty interesting device and I'm surely looking forward to using the device more. Not only because it has a hybrid design which I personally like but also the whole design as it's a very good looking watch um, so I think that's it that's your good quick look at the Fossil HR Collider we'll see you again in another video ciao guys